In this experiment, I will investigate how the amount of air coming into the bottle affects the rate of water flowing out. Preparation A hole was made on the lid to create the control. Then, a hole was made on the top of the bottle and then finally a second hole on the top. It was done twice to show that it was the result of the air coming in, not an external factor. 400 milliliters of water was poured into the bottle in the time measured for all the water to come out. Each experiment was repeated twice for more accurate measurement. Experiment Surprisingly, when it was the control, even though there was a hole, no water came out other than in the beginning. When there was one hole at the top, the water flowed normally, finishing with an average of two minutes, exactly. With the second hole, it was roughly the same, with the average actually increasing by 0.03 seconds. The final experiment, I tested it with five holes, but the average also did not differ greatly, being approximately two minutes. Finally, on to the conclusion. In conclusion, at least for this experiment, as long as there is a passageway for the air to come through, the amount of passageways do not matter. This is a graph of this experiment, and you can clearly see that the line shows a positive correlation, but there is no clear differences between the results. As an evaluation, I think that the timings should be made more accurate by using more people so that it can start at the same time as the water flowing.